Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs? grow 420 guide here and welcome back to Season 5. We're actually going to be starting Season 5 continued technically, but it's still Season 5. For today, we are bringing you guys a germination video. I know it has been three years since our last germination video. And um, that was actually a video that helped kickstart my channel so three years later here we are we're gonna be doing it again and um, and yeah so we got some new strains to work with we were talking in our last video about how we ordered some seeds off cropkingseeds.com this is actually my first encounter or first experience um, with ordering seeds online and I have to say it was an easy process and um, crop king seeds has the number one customer service center where you can just you can call them up and you can ask them any question you want if you have any questions with your ordering process or anything you can give them a call and they're right there to answer your call 24 7 they are a stellar company so i am excited to work with some of their genes now you can see we got some uh some of the strain information that we're going to be growing posted up on the wall back there our printer ink was uh was running low so it's not the best quality, but we are going to be going through each individual strain before we get to our germination, and we're going to be going over the strains that we ordered. So let's get into that. So the first strain we're going to look at is our haze extreme that we ordered. We ordered four strains in all, two strains that are regular seeds. Our haze extreme is one of those regular seeds, and um, two other seed strains that are feminized seeds. So the cool thing about Crop King Seeds is they have this printout on their website where it shows you how easy it is to grow the flowering time expected whether it's an indica, sativa, a hybrid um, it's got the effect your THC, your THC percentage, your CBD, your CBN your CBN is um, for my OGs that don't know it's, um, it's when THC breaks down it converts over to CBN and it's just the oxidization process and uh, CBN is actually if you have super high percentages of CBN that's where you can uh, you feel a little more messed up rather than high and um, it's a really good pain reliever and a good sleeping medicine with high percentages of CBN um, the country that this flower was bred in Canada and the yield is one of the reasons why I picked this strain is because it's such a high yielder indoors up to 550 grams per plant so I definitely do want to check that out it seems like a high number in my mind um, but yeah I mean high numbers of yield are always good so I'm excited about that and um, another thing that sold me on this strain was the fact that we are getting some cheese genetics up in the Grow 420 GAD channel I love good old cheese strains blue cheese, UK cheese, you name it. I am just a dairy fiend when it comes to my, my cheese strains. So we got original haze crossed with cheese to give us this extreme haze. And we got the prices down below. Five seeds for 40, 10 seeds for 70. The regular seeds are a little cheaper than their feminized seeds. So let's move on to our next strain here. And we actually have our seeds over here on all of our little printouts. So the second strain we ordered is Crown Royal Feminized. Now, like I said earlier, the printer was dying on us, the ink was just running out, and uh, we're not getting like a, a true good reading of color or picture because of the printer issue, but wh why I ordered this flower is because the picture of this flower on their website is truly just crazy. It's just, there's so much going on in that flower that you know I was just like I have to experience this I want to see better detail in real life of what is going on in this picture because it's just it really in my opinion it is a clusterfuck we have purpling going on we have a crazy flush with our nitrogen being flushed out with all the yellow leaves going on and it just seems like a ginormous beefy flower um, so yeah so I was 
kind of intrigued on this crown royal so we're gonna we're gonna grow this one out as well so we're gonna go through the uh, the information on it really quick again got the type indoor outdoor growing moderate flower time nine weeks a little more precise than our haze extreme our indica sativa 70% indica effects a strong indica so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a pain reliever a good um, sleeping medicine THC strong which I don't really okay so on our haze extreme it said strong yet aware okay interesting so this is just a strong THC level so THC percentage 21% a little lower than our haze extreme by little little over than half of a uh, percent we got our CBD at 2.10% which is actually quite a nice CBD ratio now I was reading the information about the Crown Royal and um, and it said it was just an awesome all-around strain and with looking at the percentages right there that is a pretty good ratio um, between THC and CBD because obviously the higher your CBD content is the lower your THC percentages are going to be in vice versa if your THC is high then it's going to bring down your CBD percentages so on and so forth um, so yeah and then we got the CBN content of 0.17 percent so sitting a little low which is nice because you don't want too high of CBNs I would start to worry once the CBNs go probably above two percent maybe three percent um, country bred in Canada the yield up to 500 grams another high yielding strain another reason why we picked this the genetics blueberry crossed with purple kush now I am a fan of purple strains but I've grown out blueberry in the past and I was not a fan of the blueberry that I grew so I am hoping that the blue ge blueberry genetics um, within this strain are definitely more reliable than mine I know mine were just bag seed but still when you experience a, a strain and it's not the best experience with it it, uh, it does definitely turn you off from growing that strain again, so we are going to be giving Blueberry a chance again with our Crown Royal strain here. And again, we got the little seeds up here. We're going to be getting a close-up of our seeds once we go to germinate here, once we wrap it up. We got two more strains to go through. Let's move on to our next strain. Moving on to our third strain out of four that we are working on. We got some Zeus. Now, the reason I chose this, I'm sure you guys can, uh, it's, it's obviously apparent why I chose this strain. I'm growing out my own strain, Zeus OG, that I crossed. Um, so I wanted to compare my Zeus OG between Crop King Seed Zeus to see who has the better Zeus genetics. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go through the information again. We're almost done wrapping things up here. So we got the type indoor only, which is kind of weird because you would think that you can grow a flower outdoor as well but I guess they're referring to as it does better indoors um, growing experienced oh oh the pressure is on G420 G experienced growers for this strain huh oh it's a little scary um, flowering time 10 weeks indica sativa mostly sativa which is weird because my Zeus OG is purely indica dominant we got the effect, a strong sativa buzz, THC, high extreme. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. That sounds awesome, though. <laughs> a THC content of 25.18%. That's pretty high in the THC department. CBD is sitting low because the THC is so high, sitting at 0.6%. Our CBN is extremely high, sitting at a 1.9% and uh the country that it was bred in canada so we got some canadian zeus og versus the american zeus i should have said the canadian zeus versus the american zeus og man there's too many zeus's i'm getting confused up in here all right so we got genetics original kush crossed with skunk now i don't really know how they got the name zeus out of that but that's okay I like I like the definition of my Zeus coming from the the SoCal White Lightning crossed with the Skywalker OG. You know, you're like walking on the sky with your lightning bolts. It just kind of it just speaks in volume like Zeus. It is a godly strain. You need to be named Zeus. So yeah, we're gonna check out their Zeus against my Zeus. And the price of seeds, five seeds, thirty-five, ten seeds, sixty-five. So this is 
the cheapest seed that we bought. Um, so we have cheaper purchased seeds. I'm not saying the, the genetics are cheaper in value. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what money does buy you online. Um, $35 versus $60 for five seeds. And I, we did skip over the, uh, the price for Crown Royal. Let's go back to that really quick. Uh, five seeds, $60, 10 seeds, $110. So yeah, the Crown Royal is a bit pricier. That is obviously because of the feminized seeds, like I was saying. And um, yeah, it's, it's a little interesting because the quality of the Zeus through the picture actually looks a little better. But like I said, these pictures you can't really tell because my printer sucks right now. So moving on to our last strain, we got white cookies. Mm, finally introducing some Girl Scout cookies into the Girl 420 Guy channel. I know this is such a super popular strain, not necessarily white cookies in general, but Girl Scout cookies itself um, overall is just a super popular strain right now. I was talking to somebody in the collective and I was, I was talking to them, I was saying, this is like the Bubba of this generation. It's just, it's so prominent and either you love it or you hate it. So that that's kind of my analogy of Girl Scout cookies in the day and age that we are in. So yeah, I don't know if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. So we got a high yield in THC. My voice just squeaked a little bit. Type indoor and outdoor, growing easy to moderate. Flowering time nine weeks. Indica sativa, 60% indica. So it is gonna be a hybrid leaning a little over in the indica favor side of dominance. Uh, the effect is going to be an indi indica body rush. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm assuming it's just going to be like one of those hits where you just, you snap through your bowl and boom, just that instant just wave of just awesomeness takes you over. So we got a THC content of 19.25%. This is actually going to be our lowest THC percentage strain, but I am actually looking forward to the white cookies probably the most out of all these strains got a CBD content of 0.75 percent so not even a full percentage of CBD but that's because our, our THC is sitting higher and um, and yeah so CBN got a 0.24 percent the country it was bred in Netherlands switching things up a little bit that's awesome and yield up to 400 grams indoor, 300 grams outdoor. Now it's funny, I've noticed on these strains that it's saying that the yield is supposedly more indoors uh, with these strains. In my opinion, I've always thought that growing outdoors, you yield more. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of funky, I don't know. Maybe because you have more control over everything and maybe they're going off per plant, maybe they're growing just beasts of plants rather than uh, keeping their plant size a little more maintained. Genetics. We got White Widow crossed with Girl Scout cookies. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that this was Girl Scout cookies crossed with White Widow. That is fucking awesome. Oh my god, I'm just so much more excited about this strain now. Holy crap. Price, five seeds for $60, 10 seeds for 110 Like I said earlier, it is because the feminized seeds do cost a little bit more. So before we get to germinating, we are going to take a close individual look at our seeds that we're going to be working with here. And I do want to point out, when you are purchasing seeds or when you do attain seeds and you're looking at them to, to decipher whether they're going to be uh, viable or not, the look of a seed really doesn't matter. I know there are certain strains, certain genetics that do just purely have white seeds. They're a little less brown in color. Um, some are just very dark in color. Some have black spots on them. Some have white stripes on them. Seeds of all strains look different. So you can't really judge a book by its cover. In this case, you can't really judge a cannabis seed by the look of it. You know, they're small seeds. They're nice, big, large, plump seeds. And none of this really matters if your seed's going to be viable or not. That is just the genetic of the specific strain in the characteristics of that seed. So what we're looking at here is the Haze Extreme. And I guess as we go through and we do look at our individual seeds, we're gonna pick out specimens that we are gonna germinate. So, let's pick you and you. Now we just picked two random ones, um, and we're gonna be picking two of, uh, of each seed. 
So we're going to be uh, working with eight seeds in all. Now the reason we're doing eight seeds in all is because uh, because of space. Moving on to our zoo seeds, you can see nice consistency between all of the beans here. And this seed actually looks super beautiful, so I think we're going to use you. And we're going to take you. Alright, so we chose our specimens out of our Zeus. And moving on to white cookies. So like I was saying earlier that each genetic holds different characteristics to their seeds. You'll notice here with our white cookies that these seeds are actually a little more plump and bigger than the other seeds that we have just showcased. And they're a little deeper in color. Let's try to move them over into the, uh, the focused area. Very beautiful looking beans, I have to say. I'm quite impressed with the consistency. So we are going to choose two out of our white cookies. Even though it is a feminized seed, we know we are getting a guaranteed two females out of here if both these seeds do germinate. And last but not least, we have our Crown Royal Feminized. And again, you can see the consistency between the seeds here. As I move them around, look at how beautiful this seed is though, it's just so nice and plump and just the white and darker stripes on it. We're going to use you, and we're going to use you in the back here. Come up front here. You have been selected. Alrighty, so let's get to germinating. We have chosen our specimens. Let's just clean up here can't leave any seeds behind These things are more valuable than gold come here alrighty OG so now that we've covered our first experience purchasing seeds online we've gone over our strain information and we've taken a close-up look at each individual seed that we're gonna be working with it is finally time to germinate our seeds so we first start off with attaining four separate glasses because we have four different individual strains that we're working with. We have regular tap water inside of our glass. Now, I like to use tap water because of the chlorine that is in normal tap water. There's small amounts of chlorine to prevent any types of contamination or any bacteria that will form in the water within the next 18 hours. The chlorine will be a preventative step towards that, but it is minor enough to where it won't damage the cannabis seeds. Um, so yeah, we use tap water, we have washed our hands very, very good before we started filming this video because we knew we'd be working and touching our seeds so much, the oils on the human skin can create a problem for the germination process of your seeds. So be sure that you're wearing either gloves or you wash your hands very, very good. So now that we have the ground rules covered, it is time to germinate. So all you do is you take your seeds and you plop them in to your water there. And we, I was going to say, whew, that scared me. We had a sinker because a sinker you definitely don't want to see right away. And you could see actually that one drifted back up to the top there. Um, if you have an instant sinker, that means that seed doesn't actually have a seed inside. That is, it is just an empty seed casing. So we got very lucky there. You want to see your seeds float at first, just as, as these are. And, um, and they will get, once they soak up the water, they will sink to the bottom. But that won't happen for a couple hours, possibly even 12 hours later. You might not even see your seeds drop to the bottom. They just might remain on the top at all times. But for the most part, once they do absorb that water, and they crack open and they start to, uh, the tap root starts to come out of the, the root there, or the seed there, um, they generally will fall to the bottom of your glass, and that is okay, because that's kind of where you want them. Boop, boop, dropped them in, got floaters coming back up. So the next step after dropping your seed into your water is letting them go for 18 to 24 hours. I find 18 hours suits me best, um, because your seeds can get a little waterlogged, over soaked, and can compromise the germination process. 
Now the last step to germinating seeds is letting them sit. But when you let them sit, you gotta let them sit in a warmer environment. Right now my bedroom is the warmest place in the house sitting at around 75 degrees because of the grow room. Now, that type of environment will work great, 75 degrees, even a little warmer, 80 degrees, but you definitely don't want your temps to, to breach below in the low 60s or even in the 50s. Your seeds won't germinate at all. I mean, they will, they're, they're gonna have a very low ratio of success rate. So the warmer, the better, and no light is the best. So we are gonna go ahead and kick off our lights here. Let them stay put in the dark, warm environment come back in 18 hours to check up on your seeds and you are good to go so with that that's how we're gonna end it thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment and like and as always OGs subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for part two where we check up on our seeds in 18 hours and we transfer them over to our paper towel to let them finish out germinating let me know in the comment section below which strain you guys are most excited to see grow out in season five continued peace out OGs I will see you guys tomorrow Crop King Seeds, world-class cannabis seeds, available online and in stores.